Good day and welcome to today's class. Today's class is the beginning of a new academic session. In today's class, we shall be looking at the curriculum for mathematics in junior and senior secondary schools. Mathematics curriculum can be divided into themes and these themes can be broken down into sub-themes from where we can then get our topics from. So in today's class, I shall be giving you the themes in mathematics for the various classes, as well as the sub-themes which they are divided into, and thereafter, we shall look at the topics. When we are done with all of this, I shall then treat the topic one after the other to enable you to excel in your academics. Most people will say mathematics is a difficult subject, but with lessons like this, I believe you will be able to unfold the truth behind mathematics. Mathematics may look difficult, but once you know the principles behind it, then it is an easy ride for you. I said mathematics is divided into themes. From themes, we have the sub-themes. And the sub-themes is broken down into topics. So for those of you in junior secondary, junior secondary one, we have about six themes. Theme number one is number and numeration. And on that number and numeration, we have sub-themes as whole numbers and fractions. While we also have the basic operations, which is the second theme, algebraic processes as the third theme, mensuration and geometry is the fourth theme, and we have the everyday statistics. Now, let me give you a rundown of the themes, the sub-themes, and the topics. Now, for those in JSS1, these are the topics you may likely be treating, or this is what is expected of you to know before you get to JSS2. Under the theme, numbers and numeration, we have the sub theme, like I told you, whole numbers and fractions. But under whole number, we have topics like whole number, LCM, HCF, counting in base two, as well as conversion of basic 10 numbers to binary numbers. So we have about one, two, three, four, and five topics under whole numbers. I shall explain to you how it is broken down into scheme of works per 10. So this will give you an idea on what you should be expecting in the STEM. That is, if your teacher happens not to give you the scheme of work. Now, other fractions, you also have fractions as a topic to treat. For basic operations, we have topics like addition and subtraction. We have addition and subtraction of fractions. We have multiplication and division of fractions. These are topics themselves. So these automatically, we have three topics under the basic operations. We also have still under basic operations, we have the derived operations. Derived operations and topics under derived operations, we have estimation, we have approximation, we have addition of numbers in base two numerals, subtraction of numbers in base two numerals, as well as multiplication of numbers in base two numerals, making it a total of five topics. The third theme, we have algebraic processes. On algebraic processes, it's just a sub theme, which is algebraic operations, and we have Topics like use of symbols, simplification of algebraic expressions, as well as simple equations. So under algebraic operations, we have just three topics to be treated, all in GSS1. Under the fourth theme, which is mensuration and geometry, we have the sub theme shapes. So you shall be looking at plane shapes, we should also look at three-dimensional figures. We should also touch a little of construction and angles. You have four topics 
under this thing to treat. Then in everyday statistics, you have data collection and presentation. You'll be treating topics like need for statistics, data collection, and data representation. You have about three topics there. Now, for the whole of GSS-1, you have about three. This is three plus four. That is seven. This is 10, 15. We have three here. That is 18, 19. 19 plus five, you have 24 topics. You have a whole lot of 24 topics to treat in GSS-1. Now, what do we do as teachers? We divide these 24 topics into three terms. And if you divide 24 by three, it gives you eight. So approximately, each term you are to study or you are to know eight of these topics. Now, what we do most times as teachers, we take them sequentially, meaning we treat team one before going to team two, team three, four, and to the last. Some other school of thought says, no, let me pick two topics out of team one, two topics from team two, two topics from team three, and two topics from team four, making it a total of eight topics and treat for first term. Then they pick another in second term and same with third term so as to spread it along. Whichever that a teacher prefers that works for him, good and fine. But what we are saying in essence is that they all must treat the same topics at the end of your stay in GSS-1. Now, this will give you an idea if you are in GSS-2 to know those topics which you ought to have treated and you didn't treat. What we normally do is at the end of the term or the session, we look at what we have done compared with what we ought to have done and continue from where we stop. So if you are going to GSS 2, looking at what I have given you, what are those topics you have done and what are those ones you have not done? The ones you have not done, your teacher ought to continue from the previous topic so as to guide you in understanding mathematics. What students normally face is at the end of GSS 1, they have been moved to a different school. And most times, the new school they are entering must have finished their scheme of work. So all they do is when you get there, it looks strange to you. So with the help of these online classes, you will be able to cover up those topics that are left undone. Kindly like our videos as you watch. Why we recommend that you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You're also encouraged to share this link with your friends and family so that they can also benefit from this project. For content like this, follow me for more. Do have a nice day.